So I had a thought. And that thought was that research and development is more about epic fails than it's about successes. So uh, this is about a failure. Not really. The gimbal's great. The motor's a, uh, what is it, 3506 T130? Is that what it is? Yeah. And uh, according to the spec sheets, it says that a 3506 is meant for 200 to 400 grams. That's what the motor weight is. So, that's wrong. Calculations on these are sketchy at best. Sketchy. And the reason is, is because this gimbal that we're, this, this hand cam that we're about to look at on this gimbal is a CX350 and it, it weighs 342 or 45 grams. So it falls right between the specifications, but uh, it's too heavy. So what I did here is I took a picture of the uh, tuning on the BE what the hell ever and uh, the simple program for tuning it and I got the power up to 200 and the PIDs are set if I put them any higher it starts vibrating and jerking so this is as much as I can get out of these motors and this weight as you're going to see in just a minute is way too much which is cool it's not meant for this camera I built these particular gimbals for the uh, for the uh, CX 210s or the 270s. I don't know what the 270s weigh, but I don't have one. But I'm about to get one maybe. But the deal is is uh, is uh, the, the CX 210s and the t only weigh um, 215 grams. So that's pretty cool. So good. So this is what we're doing. We're just uh, doing a little epic fail here. In this video, we're gonna put this 350 failing miserably, and then I'm gonna I'm going to uh, patch in the uh, the way it works with the uh, with the 210. It's pretty good. Look at this. This is not bad. It's pretty stable. Not bad. This is what I like about this gimbal. I got 360 degree turn. Check this out. This is what my goal was. With my retractable landing gear, I can look 360 degrees. Watch this. This is so cool. Look at that, man. You don't get that, okay? 